this video, we're doing computational limits part two, and we're dealing with the picture. The picture has to do with any time we are dealing with a function of 1 over x or a shifted 1 over x. Remember from Algebra 2, when you learned how to graph 1 over x, it's the rectangular hyperbola in quadrants 1 and 3. So, as we approach 0 from the right side, we come from the right, and notice our y values are heading towards positive infinity. In our next example, same picture, now we're approaching from the left side. So, as we approach from the left side, notice we are heading down towards negative infinity. So, negative infinity. In our third example, we have the two-sided limit. Now, remember, with the two-sided limit, you always compare the left side and the right side. Notice the right side limit is positive infinity. The left side limit is negative infinity. So, our two-sided limit does not agree, so it does not exist. In our next example, Notice we have 1 over x minus 2. Well, that's the same graph shifted to the right, too. So we still have the same shape of the graph. So as we approach 2 from the right side, notice our y values are still going to positive infinity. Here, 1 over x plus 1 is the same shape shifted to the left, 1 but it's still going to be the same shape. So as we approach from the left side, we get negative infinity. In example 6, we have a number other than 1 on the top, but remember, we're allowed to push any constant that we don't like out in front, thus returning it to a 1. So again, we have the same shape. It's as if this graph was shifted to the right 3, so we're thinking about this shape, and as we approach from the left side, going down to negative infinity. Over here, notice now we have a negative 1 on top. Well, that takes our normal shape and it flips it upside down. So if we're thinking about just the graph of negative 1 over x, now we're in quadrants 2 and 4. And we can use the same shape to answer this question. So we're coming from the right side, from the right side, down to negative infinity. And all we're doing is we're thinking of what looks like the y-axis as being where 4 is. So your y-axis would actually be over here. In example 8, again, we have a 4 that we don't much care for, so we can pull it out in front giving us the one we need. Now notice our x is negative. Well, so that creates a negative 1 over x type picture. So again, we're in quadrants 2 and 4, coming from the left side. So as we come from the left side, we're heading this time towards positive infinity. In our last example, uh, again, we've got the 2. I don't like the 2, so I'm going to bring it out front. It's a negative graph, so again, we're talking about quadrants 2 and 4, basically, same sort of shape. Two-sided limit. Well, the left side limit is positive infinity, the right side limit, negative infinity. So this would be a does not exist because they disagree with each other. 